Hello everybody and welcome to Northeast CNC. Today we're going to go over FlashForge's Guider 2 3D printer. This is FlashForge's largest build plate 3D printer. We'll go over what comes in the box, we'll do initial setup, we'll go over FlashForge's assisted leveling system, we'll do a calibration test print to verify that calibration, and then we'll do a full 3D print. Alright, let's go over what comes in the box. What's fantastic is FlashForge provides us with everything we need to get started printing. This includes the manual, a roll of PLA filament and filament feed tube, the USB and power cords, a glue stick to assist with bed adhesion if necessary, and our bag of accessories. This includes an Allen wrench and standard wrenches, lubricant, a small screwdriver, and our USB stick, which includes a digital copy of the manual, the flash print software, and the test prints we'll start to use later on. First thing we'll do is remove the build chamber cover, being careful not to scratch or catch the sides. Next we will install our power cord on the back of the unit and power the unit on. Once we've powered up to the main menu, we'll select the tools menu and manual. And that will allow us to select Z minus and lift the build plate to remove the shipping foam located underneath the build plate. And once we have the foam removed, we can go ahead and remove the plastic wrapping around the build plate. Next, we will remove the three clips that secure the X and Y axis drive belts. These clips help secure the printing head during shipping so no movement or damage occurs. Once we have the transport clips removed, we can start the bed leveling process. In the tools menu, select the level option and this will start the homing process. Once the homing process has completed, the system will advise us to tighten all three adjustment screws located underneath the build platform. This will be turning counterclockwise looking down or clockwise while looking up. This will bring the build plate to its lowest position, allowing us to begin the leveling process. Once we have all three screws tightened, we can select OK and Yes, confirming that we have all three screws tightened. And this will begin the assisted bed leveling system. The print head will move itself to the left front screw where we can begin to make adjustments. The system will begin by verifying the distance between the build plate and the print head. The system will advise you to make adjustments to the screw located directly below the print head. You might find that making an adjustment to just this screw will not be enough to raise the build plate to the print head. Making small adjustments to all three screws equally will raise the build platform evenly, allowing it to contact the build plate sensor properly. We will continue to follow the on-screen pumps, making adjustments to each screw located below the build plate. Now that we have our printer unpackaged, everything removed, we've got our bed leveled, and we're ready to install our spool holder, filament spool holder. We're going to use PLA filament, so we'll install our uh, filament and our filament tube, and we will load a calibration test print off from the provided flash drive from FlashForge, and we'll go ahead and get a test print done, and we'll test our calibration. Now that we've got our filament spool installed, so we've got our filament spool holder, our filament, our filament tube, and our filament is through the filament tube, we're going to go ahead and heat up the printer head. That's going to allow us to feed the filament through. And to do that, we're going to go to Tools, Filament, Load. And we've got a little progress bar that'll know us once it's ready. And then once it's ready, we're going to go ahead and feed our filament into the filament hole through the filament tube. And once that's through, we can initiate our test print. Our head is ready. It has let us know to load the filament, so we'll go ahead and feed our filament in into our top center hole here. You'll feel it grab. Once it starts to grab, there's no need to push. Go ahead and feed the filament tube in. And on the bottom, on the bottom of the printer head, we'll see filament start to extrude. Once that filament starts to extrude, we can go ahead and stop the load process, and we're successfully loaded our filament. 
And now that we've got our filament loaded, we're going to go ahead and start our test print. We will select build and we'll select the 40 millimeter cube that we have loaded from the flash drive. If you have ABS, select the ABS cube, and if you have PLA, select the PLA cube. Now that the test cube's printed, we're ready to start printing our own parts. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel to see what we print with our guide or two.